Okay, this is my video about Padlet and Lino. All right, we're gonna start with Padlet. To start off with, you'll go to the Padlet website and it's just padlet.com. All right, and from there, you will um, sign up for a Padlet. And to sign up, you can just create a username and password, or you can sign up using an already created Google account or a Facebook account. Um, I already have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. And I use my Google account because I use it for school with elementary kids. So I usually just use my already created Google account with my school, so. And then you'll enter into the website. All right, if you'll notice up here in the top left hand corner there are four different tabs there is make a padlet join a padlet the gallery and then upgrade to start with we're going to go to make a padlet down here you will see um, five different types of padlets that you can create there is a wall a canvas a stream a grid and a shelf all five of these are very useful. I've used um, all five of them in different types of things in my classroom. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on one and we'll play around with it for a second. So here's a wall and you'll just click any type of wallpaper over here. And then you can create a title for it. So in my classroom right now, we've been doing a lot with um, sight words. So I'm just gonna say sight words. And then you can make a description. And all of the different types of Padlets are kind of similar. They're just different layouts. And for the description, I'm just gonna say pictures of sight words. And then you can do a theme if you want to, um, if you have a premium plan, but I don't. So we're just gonna go back and go to next. And then you can decide if you want it to be private, if you want a password, if you want it secret or made to the public. Um, and here you can also decide how you want them to have access to it. And I'm gonna click next and go ahead and create, and then people can start posting to it. So if you want your class to start posting to it, one of the unique ways to do that is you would do share and then you click share exported embed and then you can print out this code right here the um, QR code and you can have your students in your classroom use their tablet or a phone or um, an iPad or even um, a lot of my students can use their Chromebooks as long as it has the app on there and they can scan the QR code and have access to your wall so one thing that I do is um, I like to have um, particular sight words on here and I would have my students go around and take pictures around my room of those sight words. So I already have one created like that so I can let y'all see that. And it's right here. So this one's a shelf, so what I've done is I've written the sight words at the top of the page 
right there. And then the students have gone around and taken pictures with their devices using those sight words. So that's just one of the cool ways to do that. All right, now if you go back to the dashboard at the top, there is um, join the Padlet. So if somebody else has already created a Padlet and you want to become a part of it, you can type in their URL right here and submit it and become part of their tap of their Padlet. Um, right here in gallery, you can see different types of Padlets that have been created by other people if you're looking for inspiration. And then obviously if you would like to upgrade and become a premium premium member of Padlet, you can do that right here. Another very unique thing that Padlet offers is for you to print out or save the work that your students have done. So say I wanted to save all this work, all I have to do is go to the top right here and I can click share. Sorry. I can click export and then save as PDF, which is the best way to save it. Or I can click print and it saves it all in one spreadsheet for you so that you have all their work saved. So that is a little bit about Padlet. Thank you very much.